This is our AUT scanner. It's called the Scorpion. We have several different models. This is our most common model. We manufacture all of these in-house. This scanner can be used for multiple things, pipelines, vessels, tanks, drums, whatever needs to be monitored for corrosion. We can also attach shear wave transducers on there to look for cracking or any of those other damage mechanisms. This arm here is fully adjustable. It'll go up and down however we need it to depending on the curvature that we're working with. The transducers are just normal transducers. We also have high temp transducers that could go up to 900 degrees. These scanners can go upside down all around a pipe without having to be held on. They're held by magnetic wheels and as you can see, doesn't come off easy. We also manufacture the motor controller itself. It's padded and noise proof so our signal is cleaner on the screen. You have several different representations here. This is your C-scan view right here. Basically, you're looking down on that part, kind of like you're looking at a blueprint. This is your B-scan. It's basically, if I took that part, flipped it up like this, and looked crossways into it. This is the D-scan view, basically another cross-section, but I'm looking from the end down inside of it. And here's your typical A-scan that's recording all of this data. We have our color scale over here explaining the colors, the different thicknesses each colors are. We could make this as broad or as few colors as the client wants. If he's just wanting to know what his minimum thickness is, if say his cutoff point is quarter of an inch, anything below that, he needs to know about, he doesn't care about anything above it, we'll use two colors. The thickness view, after I export it, I could do several things with it. I could get a 3D color map of it. Looking down on top, that'd be kind of like your C-scan view. Here would be your D-scan view. And here are your B scan view. In conjunction with this operating off the same program, I could export it into Excel and I could get every single reading it took. And the nice thing is we can color scale it. Now this scanner, it's set up for a 16 inch run across this way right now, but we can go up to 48 inches at a time. We just have one transducer on there. We've had these set up where we have four transducers going. So if I were to take 12 inch in between each transducer, I could collect 48 inches in the same amount of time as I could collect 12 inches. It has to have some type of coupling mechanism there to go through into the material. That's why we use water. Now we can also use peanut oil if we're doing something high temp, we can't use water. As soon as it hits it, it's gonna evaporate. But we can run peanut oil through the system and get up to 450 degrees. If we go higher than that, we've operated this at 900 degrees. We've gotta to go to a special type of coupling called DuraTherm that's about $500 per gallon. The highest we've operated it at is 1100 degrees.